When should I make important decisions? When am I most creative? When am I most effective? If you've ever asked yourself these questions, this is the video for you. Recently, I read a book by one of my favorite authors, Daniel Pink, called When. It's the scientific secrets of perfect timing. In this book, he talks about the perfect time to get married, the perfect time to have children, but the one I'm gonna share with you today is the perfect time to make decisions, the perfect time for you to be creative. So if you want to be more effective, more productive, and more impactful, watch this video and take part in the activity I'm going to lead you through right now. Let's do this. The first question I want you to ask yourself is, what time do you usually go to sleep? This is not the time you went to sleep last night. It's not the time you want to sleep tonight. This is the time you go to sleep on average. Wait a minute, uh, let me write this down. Now I want you to write down what time do you usually wake up? When is it? Not just when you're forced to go to work, but what is your natural body rhythm? What is the natural time that you tend to wake up? Write that down now. Now tell me, using those two numbers, what is the midpoint of your sleep? For example, if you usually go to sleep at 10 and you wake up at six, the midpoint would be two. So figure that out right now by looking at those two, what is the midpoint of your sleep? So as you can see from this diagram, if your midpoint is between 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., you're known as a lark and you're 14% of the population. If you wake up from between 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., then you're what's known as a third bird. These people are 65% of the population. And finally, if your midpoint is 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., then you're known as an owl. You make up 21% of the population. So depending on your midpoint and your categorization, you will make decisions at better times. You'll make better first impressions at different times. Stick around in this video as I share with you exactly when you will be most impactful, productive, and effective. I'm so glad Daniel Pink did this research. So if you're a lark, remember that was if your midpoint is 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. Your analytical tasks should be done early morning. Your insight tasks should be late afternoon or early evening. Making an impression, the morning is your best friend. And making a decision, again, it's the early morning. Now, if you're a third bird, which means your midpoint is 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., then you'll do the analytical tasks best in the early to mid morning. You'll do your insight tasks best late afternoon and early evening. You'll make an impression in the morning and you'll make your best decisions early to mid morning. Now finally, if you're an owl and your midpoint is 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., your analytical tasks are actually better late afternoon and evening. Your insight tasks are best in the morning. You make an impression best, sorry, in the morning and you make your best decisions in the late afternoon and evening. This very simple framework is either going to give you assurance that you're making your right decisions and your impressions at the right time of the day, or hopefully it's giving you awareness so that you can start shifting your thought patterns and start not worrying about making tough decisions at night. See, now if you know that you make your best decisions in the early morning, or you make your best impressions in the morning to mid-morning, then you'll know to reserve those important meetings, those important conversations till then. You won't now sit up all night forcing yourself to try and come to a conclusion because you know that your biology, your makeup, the sleep that you're getting is dictating when you're best at making a decision. Try it out for the rest of the week and let me know what you find.